Can I going to take you down from AI back to the 1980s with my <laughs> to know where to speak here. Um, hello to all you beautiful people. Um, welcome to Ruby Retreat. It's I'm so glad to be here, and I'm so glad you all made this work and are here as well. When asked to share here, just a million thoughts swirled and swirled, and um, what came to the forefront is what I have in front of me, and I pray it blesses you. So yeah, my name is Amanda Minlet, and I am through grit and grace um, and surrounded by an incredible team, a Ruby ambassador. Uh, last Ruby retreat, I came as the amazing Jamie Haskins, Diamond Guest, and I had just hit silk, uh, senior gold. I'd been with classes for about three years at that point and had just started sharing again during COVID um, because I realized people need what we have here and they need our help. They, when it comes right down to it, people do truly value their health. Um, so in order to get the word out, I decided to build my business. I even went as far as telling my husband, I do not know what the Lord is doing here, but I'm going to work my business every day. And when I turn 45, I will be picking up my Plexus Lexus. Um, so that gives me 365 days. So I'm <laughs> getting real here. So yes, I was senior gold at last Ruby retreat. Um, I was also nine months pregnant with baby number nine. Um, maybe some of you recall meeting my belly first and then a few seconds later, the rest of me. Uh, that Ruby retreat was just so impactful. It was a difference making trip for me. So I thought I'd start by telling you what stood out to me then and what has stuck with me since. Um, something about me, until I feel comfortable and familiar with people and situations, I'm just more quiet. Can you believe that, Emily? No. <laughs> and I prefer to fade into the background and just observe and take it all in. So that's what I did. And I became more and more blown away as the retreat went on. First of all, I mean, I was Jamie Haskins' diamond guest, so that in itself blew me away um, because I'm actually Jamie's level four, and she noticed I was sharing again. She saw my purpose and my excitement, and she reached down and basically adopted me and has coached me and my team, and we just wouldn't be where we are without her. She invited me to ride along with some amazing women that I have been Admiring from afar, Jen Converse, Leah Pearson, Janelle Moss, Marley Quibble, women I have been looking up to and just so impressed by. We had so much fun, great talks, and it just matters who surrounds you. Then upon arrival, Sue and Sal just greeted me like an old friend, knew my name, and completely forgave me for a whole year when I couldn't tell them apart. <laughs> <laughs> So I met Fallon and Chris Rosenkrantz and Brittany Howard and Christina Williams, just all women, women that I was just in awe of and still am. They were so concerned about me. Like, how was I doing? Am I enjoying this? Did I need anything? And it just blew me away. What is it? Is it because we're mamas and when somebody else shows concern over us, it's just so foreign and so amazing? Or maybe it was my huge belly with how close I looked to Poppy, but <laughs> it was really their hearts behind it all. And you're going to see that and you already have, I'm sure. Um, because I had the privilege of watching how these women all interacted with one another, with their teams, with strangers like me. I saw top income earners wiping down counters, emptying trash bins, cleaning up spills, just all for us so that we could come and be here. Their servants' hearts shine so bright. And for this reason, I do believe that we are the most blessed team in all of Plexus. It is no accident that you have found a place here. And then I noticed so much more. Um, chatting with Melanie and Madison and just being inspired by their mother-daughter journey. How worship just spilled out, unbarred and real. I remember watching awestruck as Christina began, began praying, talking to the Lord boldly, yet with humility and thankfulness, with her eyes wide open, the worship and the praise that followed just filled me to my core. And 
That's what made the biggest, most lasting impact on me last Ruby retreat. And in speaking with Christina after, she told me she's thankful for help and the lifestyle and the options Plexus has given her, her family, and so many she's helped already. But what she's most thankful for is that the Lord used this community, the encouragement and faith of her friends here to draw her back to him. That's what she's most thankful for in her Plexus journey. I cannot tell you how often I think back to that moment. When I'm not feeling strong enough to walk in my purpose, when I'm not feeling particularly bold or confident in my sharing, when I'm sure I am not the best equipped person to do this, when I think there's not enough time to do this well. And I don't say that lightly. I'm a homeschooling mama of nine kiddos. Um, I have a hubby. My, I have eight kids this year on travel basketball teams. Um, <laughs> yeah. I have a, a, is he 17 now? He's 17. He started his own cake business when he was 11, and he's busy with that. So my kitchen is full of cakes when I'm trying to make supper. Um, I have a little two-year-old, well, since last Ruby retreat, who hasn't slept since last Ruby retreat. <laughs> And he's giving me a twitch. And so <laughs> I'm talking to you and you see me twitching. It is not you. Um, but when I'm afraid of what people might think of me, when my mind starts playing tricks on me and doubts start creeping in, when I don't see what value I could possibly add to others' lives, when it all feels hard, impossible even, when I don't reach my goals and I'm tempted to believe I've disappointed everyone, my husband, my kids, my mentor, my team. When I don't think I deserve any of this. Anybody else? But then because of Ruby Retreat, I don't stay there. I think back and I let the emotion engulf me. But then I take it one step more and I replace that emotion with truth. The truth is, others have been here in the doubts and in the fears. We've heard about it already. None of this is not normal. And I'm going to say that again, because none of that, none of this, all of what you're facing, it is not, not normal. So from where we retreat last year, I learned to flip the script. I learned to reflect on my personal discipline. Thank you, Brittany, who said discipline brings freedom. I learned to lean into my own shortcomings and to welcome digging into personal growth, as painful as that can be. I learned I am exactly where I deserve to be in my business and what to do about it. I learned action cures fear and the decision to act builds confidence and that confidence fuels courage. Even if I do still need to set the timer for 15 minutes, anybody can be brave for 15 minutes. I learned vision costs you nothing, but will reap vast rewards. I learned to become a student of all these amazing women become sisters that we are privileged to call leaders. I was reminded my identity is found in Jesus. And when I'm following him, what others think of me doesn't matter. And to take captive every thought. I learned I have a long way to go, but that I've also come so far. I might be growing more slowly than I'd like, but I'm working on becoming the leader I need to be first in order to support that kind of growth. I learned my most, well, I learned most importantly to think about others first. What if they need me to be bold? What if they need this community? What if they need the life raft we have? This is what I want you to remember. This is what it all comes down to. It's just a matter of deciding to. It's just a simple decision. Just decide to. I challenge you in this moment, just decide. Text your team, text your hubby, whatever you need to do, but decide. 
Decide to become a sponge here at Ruby Retreat. Decide you're going to learn and be equipped. Decide to show up for yourself and your team. Decide you're going to be coachable. Allow yourself to be impacted and then simply remember that decision. Remember for when, not if, but when, you face your fears, are disappointed, or hardship hits, and then decide to grow through it all. Decide that what we get to share here is beyond amazing, whether that be health-wise, that's amazing in itself, or time and financial freedom, who couldn't benefit from both of those, or the gift of being able to share, encourage, uplift one another in kingdom impact, eternal impact. Praise him. Never did I think sitting here two years ago, well, that i never see my feet again, for one thing, um, but never did I think sitting there as a senior goal that next time I'd be here, I'd come with two amazing leaders on my team. It was Ruby Retreat where I first heard about recruiting up, and this definitely happened with these ladies. Amanda and Horston is Ruby and Rising. <laughs> and Kevin Burns is an on fire goal. <laughs> they are big deals and they have become so much more than friends and business partners. They're sisters. And never did I imagine I'd also inspire my original upline, Jess Undersma, to come back to the business. <laughs> How did I see us all at the last two leaders retreats along with others from our team of Pope sharers, but now I see that I should have. I should have seen it. So I'm making the decision to see all of it happening for all of us. And you can make that decision too. I have a feeling you're going to be blown away by the impact of one tiny continual decision over the next year. Time's going to pass anyway. Decide to take action in order to make an impact. I take so much comfort in the truth that God has already prepared the way. He's just still and always preparing me. Thank you.